everybody, Donnie Gardner here with the Boston Terrier Society. I wanted to make this short little video basically describing the pros and the cons, at least what I personally think the pros and the cons of owning a Boston Terrier are. I know a lot of you are planning on getting a Boston Terrier and you're just trying to find as much information as you can. Uh, feel free to check out other vid videos that I've created such as Should I Get a Boston Terrier? And I have a number of other articles on my website that you can check out. They're in the show notes below. But first, let's just talk about the cons of owning a Boston Terrier. I've got my article pulled up here. So number one, farting. Boston Terriers fart all the time. Bella farted a lot more whenever she was younger, and now that she's older, 10 years, it doesn't happen as often, but Bostons have gas that can literally clear the room. Next, Boston Terriers snore considerably. So if you, you know, are a 20-year-old, just close your eyes and pretend that a 50-year-old man is in your bedroom, because that is what it's going to sound like with the snoring and the farting. Uh, Boston Terriers are definitely stubborn at times. Bella our 10 year old Boston, she pretty much only does what she wants to do and you can try to persuade her other ways, but what I've known from a lot of other Boston Terrier owners, they tend to be stubborn. I mean, and it's a tricky one because she does listen, but what I'm saying is they are gonna be a little stubborn. So extreme temperatures, this is one of the ones, just depending on where you live. Once again, I've seen people that have Boston Terriers that live in Norway where it's freezing cold. Uh, Canada, I've seen it negative 20. People posting pictures of their Boston Terrier out on Twitter. And I'm like, no way would Bella handle that situation. She does not like cold temperatures. But in general, Boston Terriers do not do well in extreme heat, for sure, or extreme colds. And it's just the nature of their breed, right? These are indoor dogs. They have a thin coat. So if you do go out somewhere where it's extremely cold, you got to make sure they're wearing some type of proper gear, whether it be dog boots, obviously a dog coat for the winter. And if you're in the summer, you need to have water handy and ready. Next, allergies. Bella, for instance, she actually has a grain allergy. She can't do any type of grains. And from talking from other Boston Terrier owners, a lot of their Bostons have some type of allergy. This is just a short list of cons uh, that I just want you thinking about whenever you get a Boston Terrier. I created a tool where you can actually do a quiz, and I'll leave that in the show notes below on whether or not you should get a Boston Terrier. Next, I just want to go through the pros. If you're somebody that loves cuddles, Bostons are the best. They love being right next to their owner, right next to their side, uh, just enjoying them all day long. If you come home from work, Bella, for instance, she will jump right in your lap or if you have a significant other, she'll want to be right in between you, not letting each of you be together. Playful, <clears throat> Bella, she's a little bit lazy. She will lay all day long, but at nighttime, they want to do something fun and engaging. And that could just be on us. I mean, you're going to want to exercise your Boston Terrier throughout the day, but if they haven't done anything all day long at night, that's going to be their witching hour. They're going to be doing zoomies, things of that nature. If you don't know what zoomies are, just Click on the little link up here, and that's when they go crazy. It's the best thing in the world. But, yes, playful. Easy going. Bostons are an even keel dog. They're calm. I love walking Bella through the park. Other dogs are losing their freaking mind. But Bella, she doesn't bark. She'll just walk past them. Cool, calm, collected. I mean, sure, the back of her neck's going to be all hacked up. Man, she's ready to throw down. But she doesn't bark, and I love that in Bostons. Easy grooming because of their thin coat. You can actually go a couple months without washing a Boston Terrier, and that's fantastic. You definitely want to clip their nails at least once a month. Otherwise, it's going to sound like you have a tap dancer in the house. Uh, limited barking, like I talked about, and limited shedding. Because they have such thin hair and a thin coat, the amount of shedding that's going to happen is probably about a palm full a week, and that's it. So as long as you're doing proper dusting, you're washing your Boston, I mean, you could do it as often as weekly, but you're going to need to do some type of special shampoo because they will be dried out, but that'll help, help eliminate any type of shedding or get an iRobot, um, you know, that'll vacuum for you. Those are the pros. Um, once again, just a short list. Be sure if you're wanting to check out whether or not you should get a Boston Terrier, uh, click in the link below and there's an actual quiz that you can take. It's around 20 questions and it'll help point you in the right direction. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn more about Boston Terriers, be sure to click the subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.